Hello, this is a video from, uh, from Maths from Scratch, and this is Column Method Subtraction Level 7. Now, this video follows on um, on a playlist of uh, Teach Yourself Column Method Subtraction from Scratch. So if you're new here and you don't know how to do Column Method Subtraction, um, this playlist is teaching you this from scratch, um, and this is Level 7. So the idea is, is that you start at Level 1, and then watch Level 2, Level 3, Level 4, etc., and, uh, and you'll become a ninja at Column Method Subtraction just by watching these videos. Now this is level seven, and what level seven is all about is we are looking at how to do column method subtraction with decimal numbers. So all the previous levels have dealt with whole number values, and uh, the posh word for that is, uh, is an integer, so we've been dealing with integer values. Now this video is all to do with decimals. Okay, so we can use the column method subtraction, uh, the method, to, to subtract decimal numbers. So let's have a go. So an example one then, we've got two, which is one of our integers, or a whole number, subtract 0 0.006. Now, it's a really common mistake is to put the 0 0.006 first because it's longer. It's kind of a, a natural instinct for us to do that when we're, doing, when we're doing these. So what we've got to do is just think, remember, and this is um, a recap from level one also, is that the order of the numbers is important when we're dealing with subtraction. And it's the first number has to come first. So this is a two. Now, the thing that looks slightly odd about this is that this one's got four digits and this one's got two. So before we do anything, we need to line these columns up in terms of place value. Okay. And this is the key when doing any column method subtraction or addition um, is that you've got to line up your digits in terms of place value. So we're going to start with the two. Okay. So then that will be my units column. Now, if we write underneath this 0 0.006, there's actually no units in that number. So we need to kind of get these lined up. So there's no units there. Then there's a decimal point. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that this 2 is a decimal. Okay. And so to line up our columns at the top here, we have to put some zeros. So it's probably easier to show than it is to explain. So I'm going to put three zeros next to the 2 there. And then I'm just going to line up the 0 0.006 underneath. Okay, and so you have to line up your numbers um, in terms of place value for this to work. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. And, and well, I don't know what you're going to end up with, but it, it won't be the right answer. So those are my straight lines there. Okay, um, put a subtract there if you wish. Uh, some people put it there, but it doesn't matter. Right, and so and then we just continue as we would do before. So we just make sure we line up the decimal points. And when we're going to go through this, um, we just put a decimal point in our answer. So you can put it at the beginning if you want, or you can leave it till the end, it doesn't matter. Um, and so now if you look, um, this is one of our chains that we need to set up. Um, and if, that, if you're not sure what a chain is, or the way I explain it, um, you need to kind of look at level six and level five. Um, if, if this is still a bit unsure for you. Um, so we're going to continue this chain. So we need to borrow because obviously this number is smaller than the six. So we're going to go all the way to the two. Okay. So I'm just going to change my color pen just so it's, it's easier to see. Okay. So we're going to strike through this two and then that's going to reduce down uh, to a one. And then the, the number that I'm taking from there, I'm going to live next to that one. That's going to reduce to a nine. And then the one from there lives there. Reduce that one down to a nine. And then the one lives there. So then we've got 10 subtract 6, well that gives me 4, and now because of this chain that we've set up over here, we can now just continue through and continue this calculation. So 9 subtract 0 is, a, is, is 9, 9 subtract 0 is 9, decimal point lined up nice and neat, and if you notice, my decimal points and my columns are really straight. Um, common mistake is that you just don't pay attention to how neat your columns are, and then the, the, the question just looks really hard to read. Um, and having marked uh, maybe 26,000 exam papers, it's kind of annoying to mark, uh, and also it'll make it easier for you when you line them up. Right, 1 subtract 0, well again that's 1, and so my answer to this one is going to be 1.0, no it's not, it's going to be 1.994, okay? And then the takeaway from this is that you just need to line up your columns in terms of place value. And if you don't have any digits, you need to create them, okay? So let's have a look at uh, question number 2. So again, we're going to line these up. So we've got £14.67, subtract £3.42. Okay, so £14.67, and I'm going to subtract £3.42. That's the units, so I'll make sure I need to line up my units. Okay, draw, draw the lines underneath. Again, I'm using these really straight, but as straight as you can get them, that would help. Okay, right, 7 take away 2. We can do that because seven's big enough, and that gives me an answer of 5. 6 take away 4 gives me an answer of 2. 
Line up decimal points. There we are. Four takeaway three is one. And then one takeaway nothing. You can put a nothing there if you wish. One takeaway nothing is one. And so the answer to that one is that 11 pounds 25. Right. Question three. Six pound, well, uh, it's not a pound, is it? 6.1234 subtract 0 0.09. There we are. So get these lined up again. So 6.1234. Take away 0 0.09. Right, so 0, that's my units. And it really does pay to just be mindful of how you're lining up your digits. 0, 9, so that's that one because it's 9 hundredths. There we go. Lines underneath to keep our working out nice and straight. And then let's go ahead and answer this one. So again, now we've got nothing underneath here, so we could just leave that as nothing. 4 subtract nothing is 4. 3 subtract nothing is three, and if you wish, you can put your zeros in to make it easier for you. Two subtract nine, okay, we can't do that, so we're going to have to borrow from this one. So this borrowing, you see, it does happen in nearly, every, you know, in, in situations where you won't expect them, but you've watched the videos up to here, so you should be able to, to do it now. 12 subtract nine, okay, that gives me an answer of three. Zero subtract zero is nothing, and then six subtract nothing. Six, so that gives me 6.0334. Example four, now I've got five examples for you. This is example number four. Okay, so 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, well, otherwise known as 1010.29. Subtract 36.19. Again, line these up. Okay, and then hopefully this should be making sense to you now. So 9 subtract 9 is nothing, 2 subtract 1 is 1, line up your decimal points, okay, that um, that makes me happy, okay, and then we've got 0 take away 6, again, we can't do, so we need to borrow, I've just hasn't left enough space, but we can get by, the 1 gets carried to that 0, makes this a 10, 10 subtract 6 is 4, now, this is a 0, okay, so, Excuse me, 0 subtract 3 we can't do. So this is where we're going to have to set up our little chain again. Okay, so this is from level 6. Can't borrow from this one. And the reason we're doing this is because this 0 is too small. So we're going to borrow from this one. That's going to reduce to a 0. Then that 1 is going to carry to there. We're now going to borrow 1 from there. So that becomes a 9. And then the 1 lives next to this one. Now you can see this one's becoming a bit hard to see because I really did bunch these up, okay? So it is easy just to write them together if you're not paying attention. It's just, just something to kind of bear in mind. 10 subtract three gives me seven, okay? And then nine subtract nothing is nine, and then zero is zero subtract zero is nothing. So then it's 974 .10. And then don't forget, you can, you can write that as 974.1. They are the same thing. It doesn't matter. And then we're left with example number five, 0 0.09 subtract 0 0.0006. So let's set this up. So paying full attention to our place value. Uh, and there will be a video about place value coming up soon. So 0 0.09. Now, again, even though this is longer, it needs to go at the bottom because we're taking this away from 0 0.09. So... Units, there's no units. Line up the decimal points, nice and straight. And then we've got three zeros, zero, 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 six. And then we have to put the zeros above because then we've got something to take the six away from. All right. Nice straight lines, line up the lines. Okay, that makes me happy again. All right. Units column, zero subtract six. We can't do because zero is too small. So we need to borrow. And again, there's nothing to borrow from, so it's, it's chain time. So... We're going to take one from the nine, that reduces to an eight. Carry the one, that's now a 10, but obviously we need it over here, so we're going to reduce that by one, that becomes a nine. And then we've got a 10 there. 10 take away six becomes four. Nine subtract nothing is nine. Eight subtract nothing is eight. Zero subtract zero is, is nothing. Line up with decimal points, zero subtract zero is nothing. So here we've got 0 0.0894. Right, well done. This is the last level now in column method subtraction. Um, so hopefully you've um, you've been successful in teaching this to yourself from scratch or just watching my videos and doing it without a teacher, um, whatever you want to call it. Well done. 
Um, so, have a go at those practice questions and I'll see you in the lesson video. Um, if you have enjoyed these videos, like, subscribe, share, um, all the good stuff. Um, if you're itching to do some more written methods, there's column method edition playlist that you can find on my channel and there's always um, short division um, if you have a, a penchant for um, written methods. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so have a go at these and, uh, and I'll see you soon.